But now a Kentucky group wants to help. Spectrum News 1's Jacqueline Powell takes us inside Water Steps headquarters, where the group was inspired to lend a hand, packing up tools that will soon head to hospitals in the war-torn country. A hundred of these boxes packed up and being shipped out to Europe. Inside them, a tool the size of a curling iron that'll make all the difference for doctors in war-torn areas of Ukraine. This is our bleach maker, which when connected to a battery, car battery, and putting a brine, a saltwater brine solution in the, in the jug, connecting this and running it for about an hour we can produce a gallon or so of bleach. Joe Jacoby is a Louisville dentist who volunteers at Waterstep. Several years ago, he helped design this tool to aid in the fight against Ebola in Africa. The nonprofit CEO says with just water and table salt, it'll be a game changer for hospitals in cities like Mariupol. For example, yesterday, the um, uh, maternity hospital was bombed out. Uh, imagine I don't have any disinfectant anymore. It's gone. I can't get it. I have women that are having children, having babies. We need to set up something, but how are we going to manage the sanitation needs there? And this equipment allows them to make a tremendous amount of disinfectant each day themselves. Mark Hogg says Waterstep is partnering with a group in Germany that's been delivering medical supplies to hospitals throughout Ukraine. He shared these maps showing all the places they've traveled to so far as of earlier this week. They're filling about three trucks a day, driving 15 hours just to the Ukrainian border and then disseminating the medical supplies to critical uh, medical area needs uh, throughout the country. Those trucks are being driven by young men and women who are Ukrainian. They can get in the country easy, um, uh, they can translate very well, uh, whatever needs to be translated, but they don't come back to Germany. They stay, and they're staying there to help. Uh, to fight for their freedom. Speaking of translating, the group here in Kentucky has even translated into German and Ukrainian instructions for those who will use the bleach makers. If you are disinfecting water, for instance, if you had a five gallon jug, you would use one ounce of this product. Help that Waterstep says will be making its way into Ukraine by next week. In Louisville, Jacqueline Powell, Spectrum News One. Before the crisis in Ukraine, Waterstep most recently sent bleach makers to help in Mayfield after the tornadoes. The nonprofit hopes to send an additional 400 of them to Ukraine. It's asking for donations to help fund those efforts. Visit watersteps.org if you'd like to help.